government. This video was deleted from Chinese social media soon after being uploaded, and there's a reason for that, as you'll see. The Trump administration is in a trade war with us. So why can't we fix the Trump administration? Why between 1992 and 2016 did China and the U.S. be able to settle all different kinds of issues, no matter what kind of crisis we encounter, be it the Yanhai incident, the bombing of the embassy, or the crashing of the plane? Things were solved in no time, like a couple do with their quarrels, starting at the bed head, but ending at the bed I'm not a professional translator, but I think that's Mandarin for fucking us. He continues, we fixed everything in two minutes. What is the reason? I'm going to throw out something that may be a little bit explosive here. It's just because we have people at the top. People at the top of America's core inner circle of power and influence, we have our old friends. In the past 30 years, 40 years, we have been utilizing the core power of the United States. As I said before, since the 1970s, Wall Street had a very strong influence on domestic and foreign affairs in the United States, so we had a channel to rely on. But the problem is that after 2008, the status of Wall Street has declined, and more importantly, after 2016, Wall Street can't fix Trump. Why? It's very awkward. Trump had a previous soft default issue with Wall Street, so there was a conflict between them. But I won't go into details. I may not have enough time. So, during the U.S.-China trade war, they, Wall Street, tried to help. And I know that. My friends on the U.S. side told me they tried to help. But they couldn't do much. But now, we're saying Biden was elected. Can you even blame them for laughing at us, guys? The traditional elite, the political elite, the establishment, they're very close to Wall Street. So you see that, right? Trump has been saying that Biden's son has some sort of global foundation. Have you noticed that? And who helped him, meaning Biden's son, build the foundations? Got it? There are a lot of deals in all of these. Followed by applause. The saddest part is that of course they're laughing at us. They have effectively taken over our country. He explains really, actually pretty simply, something that American mainstream media refuses to cover. That they don't even have to lift a finger. They don't have to send one soldier or have boots on the ground in a war. Um, they have the tech giants to censor any negative media on the candidate they favor. And if they, I don't know, decide to manufacture a biological weapon, send it across the world, infecting millions of Americans and killing hundreds of thousands, they can count on the fact that CNN and people like them not only won't report on these questions, they won't even consider asking these questions. And if you listen to Jeff Zucker, he doesn't think that you should be able, as an American citizen, to ask what these he questions had? on your personal social media accounts, guys. He wants you to stay home, and then now that you're home in quarantine, he wants to shut you up. You said what you just read on the screen tells the story. This is as close to a smoking gun as we have ever seen. Quote, we have people at the top of America's core inner circle of power and influence. 